que chévere. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, yes. Escucho, teach. Good evening. Hello, Alexander, can you hear me? Teacher. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello, Jose. How are you today? Okay, good evening to everyone. Nice to see you again. Finally, today is Friday. Okay, uh, a little bit of raining, but good. Okay, how about Miss Carolina? How are you today, Miss? How, ha, hello, how are you? I'm good. How about you? Mm. So, so. Nah, very good. Very good, excellent. I like it. How about me, Sonia? Hello, Miss Sonia. How are you today? Hey, thank you, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. <laughs> I like to hear that. Thank you. Okay. So far, we have Mr. Alexander, Miss Brenda, Mr. Carlos, Miss Heidi, Miss Nicholas, Mr. Nicholas, sorry, Mr. Samuel. All right, let's wait for the rest of your classmate. Uh, today, we're going to study a little bit about can and could. Also, we're going to remember some activities that we did yesterday. Okay, vamos a, a recordar un poco sobre las actividades de ayer. Eh, también vamos a ver otro model verb, es can and could. All right, well, I'm going to start taking the attendance list, the attendance list. Today is Friday the 20th, Friday the 20th. So let's start. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Mr. Alexander. Uh, Miss Brenda. Present. Miss Carla. Miss Carla, Mr. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Miss Carolina Eleonor Cardona de Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Edgar Jose Cruz Amaya. Edgar tiene problemas de conexión ahorita, teacher. Me okay, dijo que va a tratar you. de conectarse. All right, thank you very much. Miss Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present teacher. Right. Mr. Erickson René Díaz Mejía. Mr. Erickson. Herbert Giovanni Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you, Ms. Heidi Marisol Mentíbar Mentíbar. Heidi Marisol Mentíbar Mentíbar. José Nicolás. Present teacher. Josué Alexander. Josué Alexander. 
Juan Alberto Rivas. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Rebeca Navarro Medrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Maritza Reyes López. Samuel Isidro Tejada Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Sonia Miriam Cortés Vargas. Present teacher. And Maria Magdalena Rivera Ruiz. Okay, well, let's hear it. Uh, well, yesterday we did a little bit about uh, some problems. Okay, some problems we might have. Okay, for example, printer. Do you remember what problems you had? ¿Qué problemas eh, agregaron al printer? For example, one of those where it doesn't turn on. The printer, how about me, Sonia? Um, printer, lack of ink, lack of paper is a common problem. And uh, the printer won't print. Excellent. Good. Qualities. Good. Excellent. Lack of paper, lack of ink. The printer doesn't uh, doesn't print with a with good quality. Yes. Excellent. How about Miss Elsa? What did you write in the problem? The printer's problem. Printed. Uh, it's done. It's done. Those, perdón, those. Uh, it doesn't, uh -huh. it doesn't. doesn't uh, the line, the is bad. And the internet is very low. Excellent. How about Mr. Alexander? What did you write in printer's problem? Paper store. Excellent. How about Mr. Samuel? What did you write in printer problem? Okay. Um, with the printer, uh, it doesn't turn blurry prints and the paper stuff. Excellent. How about Miss Kenya? Um, printer. Mm -hmm. um, I doesn't print it in color. Um, the impression is of poor quality. I doesn't turn on. It doesn't turn on. Good. All right. Uh, now the equipment you add. The equipment you add. El segundo diagrama. What do you have, Miss Brenda? And the network goes down. It okay. doesn't end. The telephone. It mm -hmm. doesn't interact. And the cable is disconnected. No calls coming. Okay. Uh, good. Miss Haley, what did you add in the second diagram? Okay. Um, uh, phone. The phone present as a strange noise. Uh, the phone turn off. The phone doesn't not charge. Doesn't charge. Excellent. Let me see, Miss Elsa. What do you write in the second diagram? <clears throat> the PC. Uh, the very slow, the memory RAM, the router doesn't turn it off, the Wi Fi is connection failure. Go ahead. And uh, Mr. Juan Alberto Riva, thank you, Miss. Thanks. Hola. Uh, what did you write in the second diagram?
Permítame, no, no veo bien, maestro. No veo la imagen. Eh, lo que escribió en el segundo diagrama, allá, el día de ayer. Ah, sí. Fisher, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, the computer is very uh, slow. Good. And, and uh, it has um, one amount of software. Mm -hmm. And if the functionality is not functionality the keyboard. Keyboard, good. Okay, excellent. All right. Uh, now, we're going to remember, for example, uh, this format that we, well, you did yesterday, the complaint form. The complaint form. Okay, volunteer to explain the complaint form. Me teacher. Thank you. Okay, you will say hi. My name is Carlos, and would like to report a file which my internet it is very slow, and sometimes is that's not connected. Good. Thank you, Mr. Carlos. Okay, another volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, sir. Okay, name of the complainant, Samuel Tejada, date August 19th, 2021. Home phone number 25, 25, 25, 25. Word phone number 22, 21, 15, 16. Fax number... 2298 7, 7270 Street Address Buena Vista Street Number 1050 City Soyapango Email Address Samenaya 181 <laughs> Sorry Samenaya 180 at gmail.com Problem with the AC it doesn't froze, even they put the temperature to the top. We sent a technician to fix it. Good job, Mr. Samuel. Good. Okay. Uh, how about, let me see, Mr. Erickson Diaz. Okay. How about Miss, Miss Brenda? Lisa. Okay. Complaint form. Name of complaint. My name is Brenda. Date August uh, 20, 20, um, 2021. Home number. Home phone number. 6307-7. 2907. World phone number 2121 for 4100. Fax number 2222 and 4102. Street address Montserrat Street number 11609. City San Salvador. Um, the complaint information describes the nature of the complaint, identify the equipment in question and the problem. I have problem with the printer because uh, the, the printer has 
the it doesn't inter access. Okay. Good job, Miss. Excellent. How about Miss Sonia? Okay. The name of complaining is Sonia Cortez. Date uh, August 20th, 2021. Uh, home phone number is uh, 2121 four one zero zero. Uh, work number is uh, 2121 uh, 4130. Street address is Montserrat Street, 31 Avenue. And email address is cotización arroba gmail.com and describe the nature of the content. In my case, uh, I would like to report a problem with my printer. It doesn't turn on and yesterday a stack of paper, have a stack of paper. Excellent, very good. Okay, Miss Carolina. Okay. Complaint form, name of complaint, com, complaint, Carolina, date 20, 20, 29 August, uh, 29 um, el, el año. Um, 20, 2021. Thank you. Home, home phone number 0000. zero, zero, zero. Work phone number 25049888. Fax number 2231111. A street address, Avenue Principal, number two, City, Ayutuxtepeque. Email, email address, colecturia, point, C-R-A, point, e -D -U, point, S -B. Uh, the printer does not connect to the internet and does not allow me to print. Finish. Finish, good. Okay, and finally, Mr. Alexander. I'm sorry, your microphone, Mr. Alexander. Sorry. Complaint form. Name of complainant, Alexander Donio. Date, August. My thing, uh, 2021. Home phone number, 22. 7301 ABC eight hundred nine P W punto point com and complaining from mention discovery 
I, I have a problem with the computer. Okay. Uh, but problem, the monitor doesn't turn on today. Uh, second problem, the microphone doesn't work. Thanks. Excellent. Uh, okay. Thank you very much to all the, the students who participate. Right now. Oh, that one was that. Okay, there we go. Okay, in this class, I'm going to aprender cómo hacer eh, make polite request. Make polite request. Okay, do you ever make requests? If so, what kind of requests do you make? ¿Qué tipo de peticiones o pedidos de una forma educada hacemos a menudo? ¿En español o en inglés ahorita? En español, por eso. Ah, ¿podría llenarme la información que le envié? Exacto. Entonces, muy bien, mis. En, este, en esta clase vamos a aprender cómo hacer ese tipo de eh, solicitudes, ¿ok? Eh, de una forma atenta, de una forma polite, ¿ok? Eh, muy, bastante formal. Okay, por ejemplo, cuando nos dirigimos a autoridades o con personas que no conocemos, entonces vamos a aprender cómo hacer ese tipo de preguntas. We're going to learn how to, how to make that kind of question. For example, eh, for example, when you need, a, when you need paper, <laughs> laptops, printer, etc. También, por ejemplo, cuando pedimos el correo, o pedimos el teléfono, eh, Cuando necesitamos ayuda de alguno, alguno de nuestros compañeros, puede ser, hey, would you help me? Could you help me? Entonces vamos a aprender en esta clase cómo hacer ese tipo de request. Ok. First of all, we have this dialogue. Ok, this dialogue. Eh, it says, hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Peeps. Peeps come. We received the new, the new printer and I need help setting turn it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let's, let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's a multi page mixed page. Multi page mixed and X page. Okay, first make sure that the power core is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check uh, that the installation CD in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on the complete install, okay? Uh, ¿qué, es, ¿Qué es lo que está pidiendo? ¿Qué tipo de pregunta o qué tipo de servicio necesita? Are, are they talking about printer? Are they talking about the printer? Installation print. Setting okay. it. Setting it. Re receive Setting it. the print. New. Setting. Receive it the new printer. Installation. Setting up. Set up. Set up the printer. Okay. Entonces, como exacto, como dijo mi Sonia, están hablando de cómo eh, iniciar un o cómo instalar un printer. Okay. Entonces tenemos palabras claves eh, que, por ejemplo, setting up, setting up, set it or, or solamente set es como iniciar, okay, como instalar también. Okay. También tenemos la palabra plugin plugin que es si está conectado plugin ok es cuando nosotros decimos está enchufado 
es plugin. Okay. Entonces, eh, también menciona, por ejemplo, ¿cómo se dice pantalla? Screen. Screen. Okay. Installation. Y, y, y observen el tipo de pregunta que utiliza. Could you help me, please? Could you tell me the model? Can you hold on the second, please? ¿Podría esperar un segundo? Can you hold on a second, please? ¿Podría... Eh, ¿Qué es lo que debo hacer después? Can you tell me what I need to do next? Please. Ok, entonces, eh, con este tipo de preguntas son muy... Eh, podemos decir, muy formales. También apagar el ventilador. Apagar el ventilador, tengo free. Eh, por ejemplo, si usted llama a un servicio al cliente, usualmente lo van a van a utilizar ese tipo de preguntas, donde se refieren al cliente o a la persona que está llamando de una forma educada o formal. Polite. All right. Uh, we're going to practice this conversation okay, with our classmate. Okay, let's do it in pairs. All right, we're going to practice. In case you have any question, please let me know. Please let me know if you have any question. There we go. Okay, hello, this is Max from the Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joy. I work for PIP, as it says. PIP. Sí. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice? PIP. PIP. Así. Mm -hmm. Pips. Ok, okay. Vamos, a hacer ahorita, vamos a leerlo eh, como usted crea que se pronuncia. Cuando terminemos, okay. eh, usted va, puede anotar las palabras que usted no está muy segura cómo se pronuncia y vamos revisando eh, cuál es la pronunciación. Ah. Ah, perfecto, perfecto, gracias. Ok. Hi Max, my name is Joy. I work for Pips.com. We receive it the new printer and I need him setting it, it up. Could you hand me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me 10 model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? You, it's an ultipation me makes 30. Okay, first make sure that the power cord is plugging in. All right, all right, it is. Call you tell, call you tell me what I need to do next, please. Second, check that the installation CD is the trade and tear once the menu upper on the screen. Click on complete in cell. Okay. Ahora, ustedes, Max y yo, Joe. Okay. Hello, this is Max. Hello, this is Max from the 
Super. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Fixcom. We reside the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, John. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an old page mix theory. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is fluent. fluent. All right, it is called you tell me what I need to do next, please. Please. Second, check that, check that the installation CD is in the, the drawing and there on the menu opens, opens on the screen, click on complete installation. Okay, revisamos okay. las palabras, please. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, usted me indica cuál. Okay. Um, donde dice, I work for pips. No sé cómo se dice. Pips. Ajá. ¿Cómo? Pips. 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 Uh -huh. Pips. Ok, uh -huh. también. Um, um, donde dice, oh, it is an ultimate, no sé cómo se dice. Ultimate. Escriban en el chat, por favor, que no sé cuál palabra se refieren. Dice ultipague. <ríe> en, la, en la segunda conversación de Joy. Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it is an... Ultipage. Ultipage. Ulti, ulti, perdón. Ultipage. Ultipitch MX Teddy. Ultipitch MX Teddy. Teddy. Another word, Miss Plug in. Plug in. Plug in. Plug in. Sí, plug in. Okay. Appears, appears, appears. Receive. Blocking. Blocking. Receive. We have plugin appears received. Plugin appears received. Okay. Thank you, Dish. 
Anytime. I need uh -huh. setting up the new printer. I need setting up. I need setting up. Setting it up, Bella. Setting up. Uh, setting. No, setting up, porque como vamos a decir el impresor, I need setting up the uh -huh. printer. Teacher, mm -hmm. y ahí tendríamos que decir setting up o set up the print. Setting, setting up. Setting up. Setting up. Setting up, ok, thank you. I need setting up the, the new printer. Esa sería la respuesta del de segundo. Uh -huh. Y en el primero Multipage MX Theory Multipage MX Theory ¿Y cuál es la diferencia de may I help you y could I help? Could I help es podría, podría ayudar. ¿En qué podría? Y may es como más, más presente, may I help. Y es como menos, es siempre formal pero menos que could. Pinchar no escucho. Who wants to be Max? Who wants to play as Max? Me, me, me. Thank you, Juan Ricardo, and as a Joe. Okay, I, I want to be Joe. Okay, you want to be Joe. Okay, and Max? Ricardo. Who wants to be Max? Quien quiere ser Max? Yo, teacher. Okay, so. Miss Elsa, good. <coughs> ok, lo que vamos a hacer es cambiar, eh, vamos a utilizar nuestros nombres. Okay? En vez de decir okay. Max, vamos a decir, eh, por ejemplo, hello, this is Elsa from Tech Support, bla, bla. Ok, let's start. Okay. Three, two, one, action. Hello, this is Elsa from the Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Elsa. My name is Ricardo. I work for PIPS. Come. We received the new printer and I need your help setting it up. Could you help me, please? 
No problem, Ricardo. Could you tell me the mother? Uh, let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Uh, it is an old page, MX30. Okay. First, make sure the that the power cord is plugging. All right, it is. Could you tell me uh, what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu upper on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, thank you. Thanks to you. Thank you very much. Okay, two more, two more volunteers. Me, Mr. Sonia, Max. Okay, Ms. Sonia, Max, and Joe. Me, me teacher. Me teacher. Okay. Okay, vamos a hacer el tercer role play. En esta ocasión va a, va a participar Mr. Ever y en la siguiente, si no me equivoco, fue Mr. Samuel. Okay, teacher. Okay, are you ready? Yes. All right, there we go. Hello, this is Sonia from the support. How can I help you? Hi, Sonia. My name is Eva. I work for Pips.com. We have the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Eva. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it is it's an ulti page, MX30. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Good job, good pronunciation. Okay, uh, Mr. Samuel, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, who wants to be Max or Joe? Max. Max, okay. And someone as Joe? Me. Me. All right, there you go. Let's start. Three, two, one, action. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Carolina. I work for Pips.com. We've received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Can you help me, please? No problem. Yo, could you tell me that model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's a Ultipesh MX30. Okay, first make sure that the power card is plugged in. All right, it is call you tell me what I need to do next, please. Uh, second, check the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on the complete install. Thank you. Good, excellent. Okay, so we started a little bit about can and could. Okay, thank you very much for your participations. Okay, we're going to uh, develop the following exercise. Vamos a hacer el siguiente ejercicio, eh, rellenando los espacios con eh, could and can. Esto lo podemos encontrar en el manual. Lo voy a proyectar. Acá.
Okay, fill in the blank. Use the conversation about to help your tell. Number one, who has number one? Sorry? Could. Okay, and Number two. Can you can you describe the problem, please? Excellent. Okay. Muy bien. Continue. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Eh, acá tenemos, por ejemplo, could and can. Tenemos could, significa en este contexto podría, podrías, y, y can es puedes. Entonces, could es, tiene un, es un poco más formal en comparación con can. Entonces, cuando hacemos una pregunta con could, dice podrías, podría. Y con can es puede. Por ejemplo, ¿podrías darme eh, tu número telefónico? ¿Cómo diríamos eso? Could you give me your phone number, please? Para nuestro correo electrónico. Para pedir el correo electrónico. Okay. Can you give me can your you, email? Can you give me your email? Excellent. Could you give me your email? ¿Y cómo podríamos decir, puedes darme tu eh, correo? Can you give me can your email? Can you give me your email? Okay, good. Entonces, eh, para saber, could lo utilizamos en un contexto más formal que can. Y el significado could es podrías y can puedes. Okay. For example, I brought this example. Uh, here we have this example. Could you tell me, could you, could you call the bus to the meeting, please? Tenemos este ejemplo. Could you call the bus to the meeting, please? ¿Podrías llamar al jefe para la reunión? Could you check the new report, please? Could you check the new report, please? Could you see the document signature? Could you see the document signature? Um, let me see. Could you turn on the camera, please? Could you turn on the camera, please? Could you give me the inventory report, please? Could you verify withholding voucher, please? Okay, tenemos diferentes eh, preguntas utilizando could. Could. Okay. Eh, es de una forma más educada, más formal. Ok, y tenemos la estructura. Por ejemplo, could, más sujeto, más el verbo, más el complemento y el signo de interrogación. Could you write this report, please? Could you deliver this letter today, please? Ok. <laughs> Y también tenemos la estructura de can. Can. Ok, eh, can podemos decir que es un poco informal en comparación a could. Y tiene la misma estructura para hacer preguntas. Tenemos can al inicio, seguido por el sujeto, más el verbo. Y decimos, can you write this report, please? Can you help me deliver this letter today, please? All right, vamos a leer... Eh, los ejemplos, tenemos seis. Vamos a comenzar con Mr. José Nicolás. Example number two. Example, no, example, example number one, sorry. Example number two, it is for Miss Maritza. Example number three is for Miss Carla Villalta. And number four, four for Miss Brenda. Okay, let's start. Three, two, one, action. Thank <laughs> you. 
for you with the airport, please. Number two. Number three. Can you check the new report, please? Helen, three. Your microphone. Sorry. Can you see the document signature? Excellent. Four. And you turn on the camera, please. Camera, please. Excellent. Okay. Um, number five, it is for Mr. Samuel. And number six for Miss Kenya Navarro. Okay. Can you give me the inventory report, please? Good. Miss Kenya? Can you verify the white holding voucher, please? Excellent. Good. Muy bien. Okay, no sé si logran visualizar la siguiente slide. Poco, teacher, poco, sí. Tiene que no, haber más aumento. Más aumento. Ah, por ahí. ¿Ahora? Sí. Ok, bueno, como pueden darse cuenta, vamos a completar la conversación, pero haciendo eh, polite request. Por ejemplo, dice, eh, I'm going to Starbucks. I'm going to Starbucks. Entonces le dice, hey, could you please get me a cup of coffee? ¿Podrías traerme una taza de café? Okay, could you please get me a cup of coffee? Entonces, vamos a leer el literal y vamos a hacer una polite request. Por ejemplo, número dos dice, I'm going to the library. I'm going to the library. ¿Qué podríamos pedir de un, de la librería? Perdón. Could you? Could you please could you get me a book? Get me a book. A book. Excellent. Miss Sonia says, could you please get me a book? Excellent. Eh, then it says, I'm going to our English class. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? Can, you, can, you please, can you please repeat a question? Oh, good. Could you please repeat a question? Excellent. Good answer. Okay. Then it says, I'm going to the kitchen. Thank you. Can you, can you please give me a glass? Can you please prepare my breakfast? Excellent. Could you please prepare my breakfast? Okay. Could you please prepare my breakfast? I'm going to London. Voy para London. ¿Qué podemos pedir de London? Can you... Could you show me the Big Bang? Excellent. Could you show me the Big Bang? Good job. I'm going to the vegetable market. Entre paréntesis, la tiendona. I'm going to the vegetable mar uh, market. Could, could you get me tomatoes? Excellent. Tomatoes. Could you please get me tomatoes? ¿Me podrías conseguir ahí unos tomatitos? Could you please get me some to me? Excellent. Okay, I'm going to McDonald's. McDonald's. Can, can you please get me um, hamburgers? Hamburger. Okay. Um, coffee. Okay. Could you please? An apple pie. Could you please give me, me an apple pie? pie? Ah, an apple pie. The carrot pie too, Gilbert. <laughs> Oh. McDonald's. Ahí no son Whoppers, ¿verdad? Big Mac. Un Mac. Big Mac. Ah, could you get me a Big Mac? <laughs> okay, it's Friday. The body knows. All right, uh, next it says, uh, I'm going to the post office. 
I'm going to the post office. Could you send my letter, please? Could you send my letter, please? Excellent, very good. All right, uh, we're going to practice this. Okay, lo vamos a practicar con sus compañeros. El, el ejemplo ¿Cómo de el ejemplo la segunda could you bring bring me a book uh -huh. okay. Okay. Vaya, sería, could you please uh -huh. give me the, the ensalat? Could you pull you, could you please get me a book? Uh -huh. Yes, can you please attention, please? <laughs> no, can you please attention? Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention, please. I'm going to the kitchen. Could you, could you give me? Give me a glass, a glass of water. Please give me one glass. A glass. A glass of water. A glass of water.
El la de I am going to London, puede ser can you can you can you step them send me for please. Can you step send me for please? ¿Sabes en cuál? I am going to London. London. Yo le había puesto, could you show me the London Bridge? Ah, oh, también. The London Bridge, the Big Ben, the lugar famoso de él. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the vegetable market. Y aquí podríamos usar el can también, teacher. O solo el sí could. Podría. Sí podría. Sí. Can you buy me tomato, please? Tomatoes, tomatoes, um, no, como las papas se compran en vida. Potatoes, um. potatoes, potatoes, fried potatoes, baked potatoes. Potato, también está. Las pa papas baked. horneadas, baked potatoes. Baked. Te puedo decir ahí, could you give me, could you give me a Big Mac? Voy a McDonald's. Could you give me a Big Mac? Could you give me a Big Mac? Could you give me a Big Mac? A Big Mac. Yeah, a Big Mac ahí viene todo. Yes. And a pineapple pie. The dinner, please. Um, the dinner. Mm -hmm. Say. Could you prepare the dinner, please? Hola. Hola. Sí. Okay. Could you prepare the dinner, please? Hamburger. A hamburger. La otra sería, ¿cómo dice la, la, la última? Que sería, I going to the post office. Sería, eh, ¿me podrías traer, no sé, el reporte de la oficina? ¿De qué es oficina postal? ¿Mi carta o mi paquete? Package. Entonces me podrías traer traer mi, mi carta. Mi paquete. Mi carta. ¿Me podrías traer mi carta? O correspondencia. Carta, ajá. De correspondencia. Entonces sería, call you bring me my letter of, no sé cómo se dice correspondencia, correspondencia. My letters of my package. Depende de qué va a poner. Entonces, ¿cómo lo ponemos? Call you bring me the package. 
the packet. The packet. La encomienda. Bring me. Yeah. Sí, I am going to the vegetable market. Vegetable. Vegetable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you put for a pediríamos a call call. Could you please get me two, dos libros de dos, dos libros de pescado? Vamos a pedir. Bien, por eso es que le toca bien lejos, ¿verdad? Sí, me toca lejos. Teacher, estamos pasteleando porque ya terminamos, teacher. Le contestamos. ¿Quiere oír lo que pusimos? Sí. <risa> Vaya. No lo escuché. <risa> Vaya. Así no, no, no nos hace pasar en público. Ah, no. Vaya, Mis... joven. Bueno, de la primera es, could you please get a book? Book. Book. Book, sí. Uh -huh. eh, second is, could you please produce the word? Eh, the first is the could you please give me one tonight? Eh, can you eh, for is could you please get up post the big bang? Number the, the fight is could you please um broccoli and onions? <laughs> please what? Yes. Could you please? Broccoli. Broccoli. Try it. Get. Could you get, right? Get. Uh -huh. Get. 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 And the other is the, the, the siguiente is, could you please eat the French fish? Good. French fries. Excellent. Okay. Y la tercera es, could you please? And can you please, uh, my, my letters, 
send my letters. My letters, sorry. Send. Uh -huh. Send. My letters. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Thank you. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Time is over. Why? Time is over. ¿Qué? ¿Lo sacó? <laughs> no, no, no. Él se salió. Ok, eh, good. Ahora aquí ya creamos las posibles preguntas. Okay, using could, vamos a compartirla con nuestro, un compañero diferente. Ok, en dos minutos. Two minutes. Así que pueden leerle sus preguntas a su compañero y dicen eso. The other way around. Please give me a boot. Okay, the second is I am going to the library. No, I am going to work all English class. Okay, could you please send me the homework? Okay, could you tell me what is the number of the page in the manual? Okay. Can you please pay attention? <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y usted, don Juan, don Juan Ricardo. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuáles son sus oraciones? Bueno, la primera es. Go to please and please. Uh, Espérame, I go in, I go in to me to McDonald's. Oh, could you please get me the happy box? Yes, I go in to the poor office. Um, could you please get me the request that I received yesterday? Yes. Yes, but how do we go? Voy a buscar aquí, que no le tengo la mano, las preguntas, vaya. <clears throat> I'm going to the library. Could you please Help me a book. A book. Okay, yes. I'm going to our English class. Could you please help me attention? Attention. Okay, yes. I'm going to... No. Yo, yo puse, call you please get a uh, Apple Pay. Apple Pay. Apple, Apple Pay. Apple, 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 Apple. Cuando me quieran invitar es a eso. <risa> hamburguesas del McDonald's. Las hamburguesas del McDonald's no, pero el Apple okay. Pay. El café? Apple Pay. Eh, yo, teacher, con el café soy un poco hinchita. Yo estoy acostumbrada al café de casa, el café listo, este, el Nescafé, 
este, y hacer cafecito ese de hervir con canelita, pimienta negra, clavito de olor. Entonces los cafés de afuera me, afect, me molestan un poco. Es, es bien raro que yo diga un café de, de algún lugar de esos que me guste, porque los siento muy, muy fuertes para mí. A veces los lo compro y los revuelvo con agua. Bueno, Soy eso, el eso, eso me pasa a mí también. Sí, yo lo siento muy... Igual el del pollo campero para mí siempre ha sido un café criminal para no. mi estómago. Y yo no tomo café. Ah, ¿no toma café? <risa> no, es que me da el bus. Ah. Y por eso no tomo. Ah. ¿Por qué dice? Soy... Me da agruras. Ah. Agruras, dice. Sí. Yo, ahora que estoy en la clase, he estado tomando café de noche, pero yo no tomo café en las noches. Pero para, para tomar algo lo he estado haciendo. Este, teacher, teacher, pero siempre hay que, hay que poner, no es necesario poner el please. Lo que pasa es que como utilizamos cool, eh, ese es eh, formal, ¿verdad? Entonces no está de más pedir las cosas de por favor. Okay. Con este contexto. Y la última de la oficina postal. Uh, could, you, could you give me the package? Nosotros pusimos, could you please send my letters? Uh, Entonces. Eh, a ver, a ver, a ver, a todos. Ah, sí, es que yo, se escuché que no les había puesto please. Sí, ya tengo ajá, cosas. ajá. Teacher, y el lunes la clase este, va a ser para lo de la encuesta, ¿verdad? Sí, pero también vamos a tener un, eh, un repaso de la unidad 4. No, no le estoy diciendo por qué no voy a estar, porque ya hice planes a partir del martes, ya me empecé a comprometer. Martes tengo tiempo, ¿a dónde? <ríe> sí, es cierto, mis. Pero el no lunes sí tenemos, vamos a revisar la encuesta. Ok. Así que no se olvide de... No, bueno, no voy a faltar. No, yo jamás... ¿Cuándo le he faltado yo a la clase? Póngame ahí, por favor. ¿Y cuándo mm. no le he encendido mi cámara? Por favorcito, mm. sáqueme ahí. Vaya, a ver. No, yo para esto sí soy bien cumplidita. Excelente. Por eso está aprendiendo bastante. Pues créeme que pues, es que me agarro la periquera aquí, pero ya cuando estoy yo sola y, y, y las compañeras a veces, good morning Carolina, y yo, good morning, buenos días, que no dicen, les digo, y me voy para la oficina. Y la jefa me dice, decime más, háblame más en inglés. Vale, y le pues. digo, no es gratis, le digo, esto no es gratis. <risa> bueno, entonces ahí nos vemos. All right. Okay, now we're going to double check. Okay, some of you, some of your answers. Well, in this case, some of your questions. Uh, let's begin with Mr. Nicholas. Share the screen, please. Sure. Want you share? Russian. Okay. No, 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 de, si podría ah. compartir con nosotros alguna pregunta utilizando QE. Ok, sí, yeah, la, la, I go to, libra, go to, go to a library, uh, call you, get me and the book. Ok, could you get me a book, excellent. Mr. Mr. Erickson Díaz. Okay, Mr. Alexander Aaron Don. Uh, I am going to the library. Hmm? Could you? I'm going to the library. Ah, library, good. Could you please tell me where is the comic section? Comic section, good. Uh, Miss Maritza. <laughs> Thank you. 
la tri. Ok, usted puede elegir de la dos hasta la tri. I go, um, go to please help me the dinner. Ok, excellent. Mr. Juan Alberto. Ay, güey. What number teacher? You choose, mister. What? Eh, usted elige, you choose. Ah, eh, number eight, the answer we release is, um, could you please send my letter? Send my letter, good. Miss Carla? Miss Carla Villalta? Okay, um... I'm going to the vegetable market. Uh, could you prepare a salad? Salad, excellent. Miss Carolina, Miss, yeah, Miss Carolina. Um, could you please prepare my breakfast? Excellent. Could you please prepare my breakfast, Mr. Carlos Martinez? Yes. Okay, I'm going to the vegetable market. And uh, could you please get me two points of fish? Okay, two pounds of fish or two fish now. Excellent. Mr. Ever Giovanni. Thank you Hi, teacher. I'm here. Okay, just uh, uh, show us one of your questions that you create, please. Okay. I am going to McDonald's. Could you get me a happy box, please? Happy box, delicious, good. How about Mr. Samuel Isidro? Uh, could you give me a pastor, please? Excellent, good job. Very good. Okay. Ahora vamos a tener un poco de... Vamos a realizar una práctica. Okay, there you have the link. Please let me know if you can, if you have it. Please, a link, Miss Carolina, do me the favor, please. Thank you. All right. There you have the link to practice food as a Collect request. All right, let's get started. Teacher, eh, ¿cuál es? No me aparecen las imágenes. Perdón. No me aparece la imagen. ¿Cuál imagen? Perdón. Eh, ¿Qué página? Usted se va a agregar a, ahí, va, va a abrir ese link. Ah, teacher, y tenemos que hacer las, las oraciones con, con, con los elementos que están ahí. Ok. Teacher, dígame, Nicolás. No sé por qué a mí no me da la opción de marcarlo. Es de que, como se les. Es de, es de verdad, de marcarlo, ¿verdad? De marcar la, la oración. Permítame. Es de, no es que no es de marcar, es de arrastrar la opción. No, no. Y colocarlo en, en el lugar correcto. No, no. Es ordenado, entonces usted tiene que ordenarlo. Pero para pegar la teacher, ¿cómo hacemos? No, 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 no se queda. Solo, ya, se me lo voy a mostrar. Pero arrastro y trato de ponerla donde, donde creo que, que está bien y no, no se me queda. Okay. 
hay que colocarla justo en el cuadrito. Amigo. Sí, la rastra, pero no me pega. Pero... Finish, okay. teacher. Good job. Excellent. Uh, okay. 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 Mandamos los resultados. Sí, veo que lo están enviando. Muy bien. All right, finish. Yes, finish. Yes, finish. Okay, uh, now we're going to check the sentences. Vamos a revisar las oraciones. Let's begin with number one. Number one. Me. All right, thank you, miss. Can you use your mask, please? Excellent. Could, could, con una U, could. Could. Excellent. Could you use your mask, please? Number two, Miss Elsa, please. Okay. Could you answer the door, please? Excellent. Could you answer the door, please? Three, Mr. Alexander. Could you? Permítame que me Number three, this. Would you take a photo, please? Excellent. Four, Miss Heidi. Could you wash your hands, please? Can you wash? Uh, could you wash your hands, please? Excellent. 
Okay, then we have, can you help me with my homework, please? Can you clean your room, please? And finally, could you give some money, money, please? Excellent. Okay, sir. No, 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 se quedaron. Okay, uh, we're going to have like the previous ex uh, previous exercise. For example, uh, here we have, it says, I'm going to the post office. I'm going to the post office. Could you please buy some stamps for me? Stamps for me? Sure, how many do you need? Okay, como ustedes ver, pueden ver, acá agregamos una tercera frase. Entonces, vamos a trabajar esto también con nuestros compañeros. Y tenemos el enunciado. I'm going to the post office. Ese ya está realizado. Eh, a ver, I'm going to a clothing store. Clothing store. Es una, una tienda donde venden ropa. I'm going to a clothing store. Ok. For example, we can, we can use this example. Because, uh, let's see. Miss Sonia, can you read the sentence, please? Para dar un ejemplo, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer? I'm going to the post office. Uh, another one, please, because that one is already done. Por ejemplo, porque esto está realizado. Sorry, teacher. Repeat. Can you repeat me? Sure. Uh, uh, another, another sentence, please. Beside of post office. Another one. Okay. I'm going to a coffee shop. A oh, coffee shop. Hey, me, Sonia, could you please get me a cappuccino, please? Yes, here. Okay. Yes. All right. Vamos a trabajar en hey, parejas. Ok, tratemos de hacerlo. Eh, sin escribir, para que sea un poquito, para que se vaya eh, acostumbrando a utilizar, a utilizar la frase, could you, could you, y también forzar el cerebro a eh, pensar en inglés. All right. Teacher, teacher, me oye. Yes, I can hear you. Te las a la ocho, ¿ya? Yes. Únicamente. ¿Qué? Perdón, no le escuché. Te dice que si lo he entrecortado, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Ah, eh, lo que vamos a hacer es eh, la voy a como el ejercicio previo aquí hay un ejemplo aquí hay un ejemplo dice eh, me va a mencionar un lugar y usted le va a hacer una request utilizando could por ejemplo I'm going to the post office could you please buy some stamps for me 
Sure, how many do you need? Entonces ya estamos creando una conversación ya con una tercera frase. Ah, ok. For example, eh, Miss Elsa, eh, I'm going to a bookstore. I'm going to the bookstore. I, could you please... Eh, ay, que soy muy malo para esos verbos. Get. La librería, no, esa es una... Comprar un libro. Mm -hmm. Could you please me voy a the novel? Novela? No se okay. dice novela. Tu popera. Ah, pero en en libro es. I'm sorry, can you hear me? Sí. A novel. Novel, okay. Mm -hmm. Like pride and prejudice. Or pre Orgullo y prejuicio. Pride and prejudice. Sí, sí. No, pero... Ok, por ejemplo, eh, means else, I'm going to, the, to a bank. ¿Cuál teacher, perdón? Ah, I'm, I'm going, going to, to the, the bank. bank. Could you please me... Um, do you... No, verdad. <laughs> Le quiero decir que si me puede hacer un abono, una remesa. Eh, vámonos por lo más fácil. Ah, ok. <ríe> Pero vamos a decir que, que pague los recibos, por ejemplo. Ah, ok. Eh, could you please me eh, pay the... Bill. Bill. Bill, ajá. Bill, bill, claro. Entonces, usted tendría que responder qué? Ah, eh, sure, I will, for example. Sí, lo Or, haré. Sure, give me the money. Ah, ok. Ya uh -huh. estamos un poco de improvisación. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver con mi son. En okay. mis hate. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. 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 Hey, uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to a close closing store. Um, can you can you can you tell me price on the dress? Okay. Could you tell me what is the dress? Ah, uh, the address. Uh -huh. Uh, good. Address. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You, Mire, teacher, uh, ¿y cómo yeah. podemos decir que si todavía existe el zoológico? Porque el zoológico ya no existe. <risa> bueno, que sea un zoológico de otro país. <risa> ah, vaya. Fureza, vaya. <risa> vaya a la otra pregunta. <risa> eh, ah, sure. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, let me see. I'm going to I'm going to Walmart. 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 Uh-huh. Ah. Oh. I call call you could call you, you call you please Excellent. get um Um, a milk liter, litro, litro, litro. No, sería una caja de leche. Uh, box milk. ¿Cómo se dice caja? Box, box. milk. No, así. A bottle. Ah, okay. Dame una botella de. Ajá. A bottle of milk. Bottle of milk. milk. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, Miss Brenda, I'm going to the kitchen. I could, no, could you prepare the dinner, please? Sure, I will. What do you want for dinner? Um, kitchen. 
I'm no. Sorry? Chicken. <laughs> ah, chicken. Chicken, all right. Yes. Delicious. Very good. Let me see. Um, by the way, after the kitchen, later I'm going to the La Gran Vía. I know. <laughs> Could you buy that? Buy me. Um, I don't say the salad in the restaurant. Could you buy what, sir? A salad. Salad. A ah, salad. Good. And go green. Yes. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Very good. Vamos a ir a otro grupo. All right, hello. Miss Mi Sonia. Hello, teacher. Miss Sonia, I'm going, teacher. I'm going to La Gran Vía today. You go to the Gran Vía. I'm going to the Gran Vía. La Gran Vía. Could you, could you uh, bring me a, um, um, souvenir, no, no, it's no, um, A gift. A gift. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I will. A gift. A gift. Okay. Uh, what kind of gift? Do you want clothes or something to eat? Clothes. Do you want a cake, for example, or do you want a t-shirt? T-shirt. Okay. Good. Very good, Miss Honey. How about Miss Heidi? Miss Heidi, uh, I'm going to Walmart. Walmart. I'm going to Walmart. <laughs> Spanish, please. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to Walmart. I'm going Sorry. to visit. I'm going to visit Walmart today. Okay, sorry, I'm going sorry. to Spanish. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to put I'm going to supermarket. Supermarket. Uh, go go you can you uh, bring apple the market? Excellent, apple from the market. Excellent. I'm going to super select. Okay, yo me hice sudar el teacher. Oh my god. I'm going to super select. Okay. Miss Heidi. <laughs> Repeat, please. I'm going to super select. Yes. What do you want from super select? What? Slow. Okay, I'm going to super select. Vas al super select? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 I weekend. I weekend. No, no, yo estoy, yo estoy yendo a super select. ¿Qué quiere que <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. I know, teacher, it's está bien difícil. <laughs> está bien difícil. Para me tiene que decir, could you get me? Could you break me? Podrías, podrías, literalmente sería, podrías tú traerme eh, el complemento. Eh, o podrías, okay. 
podrías eh, pagar esto? Could you pay that? O, could, you, could you bring ejemplo, coffee, digo, coffee and milk? Excellent. Could you get me, get me, get coffee and milk? Get me. Could you get me coffee and milk? Excellent. Okay, another example. I'm going to La Gran Vía. Mm, I go to La Gran Vía. Eh, can you, can you get me a hamburger? Sure. From McDonald's <laughs> or a Burger King. Solo, solo comida, solo comida, teacher. Okay, from McDonald's or Burger King? Um, Burger King, please. Excellent. <laughs> okay, keep practicing, keep practicing. Um, okay. Ahora I... Hello, hello, Mr. Juan and Miss Kenny. Hola. Okay, Miss Kenya, I'm going to the library. Okay. Could you please help me a book? A book, excellent. Please. Then I'm going to I'm going to Sonsonate. Could you please bring me a cocoa? Coconut, excellent. My coconut. Excellent. Good job. Then I'm going to the I'm going to Super Selectos. Um, could you please uh, bring me a roasted chicken? Roast chicken, delicious. Good. Good. Okay, now uh, Miss Kenya, I'm going to the kitchen. The kitchen. Mm. Could you bring me lunch? Okay, could you bring, bring me? Bring me. Could you bring me lunch? Excellent. Very good. Okay, no faltó, teacher. Perdón. No. No faltó la, la mitad que damos con, este, con mi equipo. Ok. Ok, eh, Miss Carla Villalta. I'm, I'm, going to the, I'm going to the kitchen. Sorry, teacher. I can't hear. I'm going to the kitchen. I'm going to the kitchen. Ah, okay. Could you uh, could you prepare the dinner, please? Excellent. Very good, Miss Carla. Excellent. Okay, Miss. Let me see. Miss Kenya. I'm going to the supermarket. Uh, could you um, get me a potato? Excellent. Potato. All right. Uh, Mr. Ever Giovanni. Mr. Ever Giovanni. I'm going to the bookstore. Could you get me a book, please? A book, please. Excellent. 
Miss Maritza Reyes. Can you hear me, Miss? Oh. Okay, uh, I'm going to the post office. Mm, I'm going to the I'll post go. office. I will, I'll go do please a packet, a packet, a packet. Package. Excellent, package. Okay, Mr. Carlos Martinez. I'm going to, I'm going to super selector. Uh, okay, uh, could you please uh, get me um, the point, two points of fish? Two what, sorry? <laughs> ah, could you please fish. two points <laughs> of fish? <laughs> ah, two pounds of fish. Excellent. Uh, let me see. Mr. <laughs> Jose Nicolás. Okay, Mr. Jose Nicolás, I'm going to Usulután. I go to I go to in the Alegría. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I cannot hear you. I go I go to visit Alegría. This. Can you repeat it again? Yes. Ir a visitar Alegría. Ah, could you visit? Could you visit? Could you visit, could you visit Alegría? Okay, yeah. good. Excellent, <coughs> Mr. Nicolas. Let me see, we have more. Uh, I'm going to London, Miss Elsa Marino. I'm going to London. Could you take me with you, please? Excellent. Very good. All right. And Mr. Alexander Aron. I'm going to Puerto de la Libertad. Could you please, where is the um, fish market? Okay, could you please get fish? Excellent. All right. Uh, do we have another volunteer? Is there another volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Mr. Juan Alberto. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see, I'm going to the coffee shop. Sorry? I'm going to the coffee shop. Ah, coffee shop, okay. I uh, could please give me a cup of coffee with milk. Good job. See, Mr. Samuel, I'm going to a movie theater. Okay. Could you please buy, could you please buy some popcorn for me? Please? Excellent, some popcorn. Good job. Uh, Miss Brenda, I'm going to... Teacher, uh, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I can okay. hear you. Okay, Miss Brenda, uh, I'm going to the kitchen. Would you prepare a chicken? Excellent, you, excellent, very good. Miss Carolina. Yes. I'm going to the clothing store, clothing store. Uh, can, can you tell me press the dress? Excellent. What is the address? Address. Ok, muy bien. Vamos a tomar la asistencia. Ok. Comenzamos con Mr. Alexander. Presentation. Mr. Alexander Aaron Doño Flores. Presentation. Thank you, Ms. Brenda. Lisette. Present. Carla Lisette. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Carlos Alberto Martinez Segura. Present teacher. Excellent. Carolina Eleonor. Present teacher. Edgar Jose Cruz Amaya. 
Edgar José Cruz Amaya. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present teacher. Erickson René Díaz. Present. Ever Giovanni. Present teacher. Heidi Marisol Mentivar Mentivar. Can you hear me, teacher? Present teacher. Yes, Mr. Giovanni. Present. Jose Nicolás. Present teacher. Josué Alexander Flamenco Asensio. Josué Alexander Flamenco Asensio. Juan Alberto Rivas. Present. Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Present teacher. Kenia Rebeca Navarro Medrano. Present eh, podría, teacher. Podría revisar si ya completé las actividades y el examen, por favor. Ok. Permítame un minuto. Más. Bueno, bueno. Eh, eh, Kenia Rebeca Navarro Medrano. Present teacher. Maritza Reyes López. Present teacher. Samuel Isidro. Samuel Isidro. Sonia Miriam. Present teacher. Uh, present. present teacher. María Magdalena. María Magdalena. Ok. Eh, bueno, solamente recordatorio, en el día lunes tendremos la evaluación, que es eh, muy importante también y que es parte de las actividades a evaluar. Eh, también pedirles que si se pueden conectar ese día a través de una laptop para que sea más fácil el llenado de la información. Y, así, y vamos a comenzar a hacer la encuesta alrededor de las eh, 8 y 25, más o menos. Ok, todos juntos para que no nos equivoquemos, ya que solamente nos permite un intento. Ok, así que eh, se puede retirar y nos vemos el día lunes. Me quedo con la luz que tiene la actividad. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye, Bye. teacher. Bye. Ya están ya completas mis actividades, teacher. Ahorita la voy a revisar. Permítame un okay, minuto. Un minuto. Good Hola. night. Bye. 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 Ok. Eh, ¿Me permite sus últimos dos apellidos, por favor? Alvarenga Alas. Okay. Efectivamente, Mr. Juan Ricardo Alvarín. Ya todas las actividades están completas. Muchas gracias. Eh, la evaluación también, el examen final. Sí, ya está. Todas están hasta el examen final. Muy bien. Ok, thank you. Sí, un Monday. ¿Perdón? Sí, un Monday. No es mi familia, hermano. Sí, hermano. Y me trata de primo todo el Dice, soy Ever y yo ya estoy completo ¿verdad? con las tareas del examen. Ever. Uh, Ever Ortiz. ¿Sí? Ok, Mr. Ever. Únicamente le hace falta el midterm. Únicamente esa actividad. Ahí todo lo tiene hasta el final. El midterm. Ah, ¿se lo voy a escribir aquí en el chat? Sí, por favor, que no, 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 no lo tengo. Midterm. Es un, es un quiz. Ah, ok. Eh, ingreso al link y lo, lo hago entonces. Sí, sí, puede ingresar a la plataforma, ahí ve su avance y le va a aparecer que le hace falta esa actividad. La completa ah, y está al 100% en todo. Perfecto. Gracias, Ticho. Muchas gracias, Mr. Weber. Good night.